Hello, everyone. So uh, I did get a question once about, you know, can what exactly can you do that makes Canvas Leonardo AI so special? Well, for one thing, um, you know, you can actually create stuff in here now. You can create images in here that don't show up in your personal feed or in the community feed. This is strictly in here. And that would only work if you do a sketched image. You can sketch your, your image straight in Leonardo now. Uh, Leonardo Canvas mode. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and do a very simple sketch. Well, no, I am not the best artist at all. I admit this from the beginning. This has not changed. Um, so I'm going to just do, I, I had an idea for a very simple sketch. And the first thing you want to do is to make sure that your canvas mode, if the default is in paint, out paint, so it's go sketch to image. Um, and I had a very, like I said, a very simple idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I, I thought I would use 3D animation style because I don't use it very often. And I figure I, it's, it's the perfect excuse to use that uh, model. So let's go ahead and now we're going to activate this tool right here, the sketch pencil. All right. So one thing I was going to do is I was going to do, um, let me see, I'm going to try and do this as best as I can. The bottom first, like a little grassy knoll thing. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Grab the part. I'm going to do it right here, right? See, this is a good green for the grass. It's all it's not. But play this right now. And as you see, I'm not really drawing within the lines. Even as a child, that was a problem. But I'm good here. Um, and again, when using this, we want to kind of mix up the color scheme a little bit. And I'll just do it. So it's supposed to signify like the Last. Probably should have done that again on, but I figured this would be a nice way to kind of use the. Okay, I'm gonna use. Lush grass. Okay. Let's go ahead. Should we? Yeah, those are supposed to be like shiny blades of grass, but we'll see how it turns out. Um, yeah, so basically, you can sketch it, and I'm gonna... Wow, that actually came out better than I thought. Oh my goodness. I am... Not that I'm impressed with my whatever, but it's just very interesting. Um, I like that one, actually. It kind of fits a little bit what I wanted to do. So I'm gonna... It's so hard to choose, though. All of these are really good. Okay. It's gonna be tough, but I think I'll be okay with this one. I thought I was gonna be the last one. I'll accept this one. Alright. So now I'm going to um, the background.
Really? Beautiful. Put this up a little bit. That looks really cool. I like that one, particularly. This keeps getting better and better. <laughs> it's just really cool. Uh, I think the brightness of this one kind of get me. That's me. It gets me. Let me go set. And let me go ahead and what I want to do is I want to attempt to do an apple falling from a tree. Alright, so just give me a second and let me figure out what I'm going to do here. Because I'm just going to do, I'm going to do the, the apple first. Because I think to me that's the hardest, that's the harder one for me to do. So let me go ahead and do an apple, make it a nice red juicy apple. Oh, that's a little too red. I think that's... That's good. Right there's good. Okay. Um, I have zero idea of perspective, so let me just go ahead and do it out. Hi. Hi. That's my app. Okay, and... I'm going to kind of give it a deeper, darker red, make this a little bit bigger, kind of fill it in with that. Okay, let should give it some white flex because I want to make it shiny or at least to my eye that's what's going to happen um so we go ahead and put this down here just make it white the white flex right here make it shiny here make it shiny here and make it like shiny here it's probably a little bit too small but just go Okay, then I'm going to make a little brown stalk at the top. I think that's good. I'm going to make this a little bigger. That's probably too big, but I think this, yeah, that's a good size. Make it here. And we're going to go with green heat. Great, perfect. And I'm going to give this a bit more contour. Get some tightly. Get this down with it. So it's good. Okay, and mess up. Uh, adding some different colors will give texture. And make it look. I think it looks better. So shiny. Red apple. Wow, that's really good. Hey, <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, they're all so beautiful. Uh, this horse shiny. I kind of like that one. That one's good. Okay, I'm gonna accept this one. And now I wanted to do something a little thing. I wanted to do a little worm coming up. So let me go ahead and do like I think that would be okay. You go I do uh, like a, a brown outline. And then kind of color it in. So let me go ahead and do Is right here. Okay, and then go and do something. The yellow. No. Um, so I figured that would be a good on false. Right. And 
you go back into another kind of ground here. Okay. All right, I think that's good. So let me go with... Blue. I'm gonna go with like a yellow. I'm gonna see if I can do two or one. I'm gonna do the worm. Ah, three, one. Ah, hold in the apple. If they flew one. See how this one comes out. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it, if what I told it, if, if it understood it a little bit better, because in my mind I had different words, but I decided to try something a little different in there. Okay, looks like an eye. Kind of creepy. That's kind of weird, but I like it. Okay, so maybe I should have done it twice, uh, like done it like that. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to stick with that. And then I'm just going to add the worm from it because it may have, it may have been a little bit too complicated um, for what I wanted to do. So let's go ahead and do a worm of a yellow one. I'll do yellow. Let's go. I'll make this a little bit thicker. Also, ah, maybe a little too thick. All right, so like a little worm coming from it. I think I'm going to give the worm some eyes. Because why not? Okay, bring this down to about not ten. Okay. Kind of looks like slime. Sesame. But we'll go Okay, so let's go with a fruit worm. Okay. <laughs> that looks kind of strange. All right, let me try and see a fruit worm emerging. Wow. Thanks so much for your time. If you could like this video if you find it useful, it'll help me to figure out what kind of content you want to see. And then there's the YouTube algorithm thing. Yep, we all know how that goes, so thanks for your time and let's get back. Great, so now I've got the worm sketch, but because I'm going to be dealing with such a small area, I'm actually going to density and I'm going to make it a lot smaller so I can get all the way down. Okay, so let me go ahead and wrap this over here. And now, uh, you know, it has a little bit more, a little bit less room to deal with, which will make it a little bit faster. And then it can focus its energies on creating the, the fruit worm that I want from this. Let's go ahead and go, shoot. let's see what this comes up. Okay, it's giving me... Alright, let me try another... Say a fruit. That's it. Through. And so I'm going to go through... Uh, segment to true one. I segment to... Fruit worm. I think it might have... Sometimes it, it takes prompt and it winds up just taking it a little bit more seriously than I need to so I'm just gonna dial it back down to something very simple
Oh, oh, okay. Now that's more like what I was looking at. Nope. This one's kind of cute. I like them. So except, so we got the worm coming out of the apple. Okay, what I want to do is I actually wanted to draw a tree. So let me go ahead. Can get them hopefully. Or at least the tree trunk. I think that's a good shape for a tree. Not this up a little bit. That should be alright. I didn't get that going. Okay. Let's go to the floor. You cover up my beautiful graspers for a good purpose. Okay. Hey. And now I'm going to add a few flax into it. Some lighter color and thinner. And they think I'm just going to draw a knowledge tree right here. So I can slip right here. Oh. Kind of like make sure it's like in a meadow. And that this bring you back up. Okay. Then quilt quilt of up. Okay, so let's take a look. See how this comes out. Okay, I probably should have done that one at a time, but that's pretty good. Looks nice. Okay, this is more like what I was looking for. Yes, this is pretty good. I will accept that. Okay, so there you have it. A tree, apple tree, meadow, apple with a worm in it, beautiful sky, green grass. So you can definitely draw a good picture, hopefully better than what I have come up with. But you can definitely draw a really nice picture within Canvas. And you don't even have to go into to generate the image. You can actually do that here on your own. So of course if there are any questions let me know in the comments. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.